Hello everyone. Today we'll be sharing the extended analysis from our 2019 SAS R or Python Flash survey, which examines tool preferences among data scientists and analytics professionals. This video will include overall tool preferences, preferences examined by experience, region, industry, education, and more. For your trends for key areas, tool preferences for data scientists versus others in analytics, plus our thoughts on which tool to learn. If you're not familiar with Birchworks, we're an executive recruiting firm specializing in quantitative fields like analytics, data science, and marketing research. We're the leading resource for insights about the hiring market, including our comprehensive salary report. Our data and insights have been repeatedly mentioned in the press, and this year Birchworks was again recognized by Forbes as one of America's best recruiting firms. This year, we analyzed votes from over 1,000 data scientists and predictive analytics professionals to see how preferences vary by a variety of factors and how they've changed over the past few years. This year, Python claimed first place with 41% of the votes, with R coming in second at 30% and SAS in close third with 29%. When we look at the results of our surveys over the past six years, you can see things have changed quite a bit. In 2014 and 2015, we examined SAS versus R preferences, adding Python in 2016 due to popular demand. Since then, Python has climbed from 20% to 41% of the vote. In 2018, all three tools were neck and neck, but this year, Python pulled ahead. This was a trend reflected in nearly every segment we analyzed this year. Support, support for Python is continuing to increase. But of course, we had to dig further into the data, right? So let's look at how preferences vary depending on demographic factors. First up, we looked at the years of quantitative work experience for each of the data scientists and analytics professionals in our sample. Now, since Birchworks is a recruiting firm, we don't ask professionals how old they are. However, we do know their years of quantitative work experience, which takes into account how many years since they first entered the analytics or data science field. This might be after university or for those who changed careers when they switched into the field. As you can see, support for Python is highest among those at the early career level with five or less years of experience and support for SAS is highest among professionals with 16 plus years experience. This year, we also examined preferences for a sample of college and graduate students in our network, which includes those graduating in the classes of 2018 to 2020. They could be doing internships, post-grad work, or newly graduated and not quite in an analytics or data science position yet. Unsurprisingly, 95% of these students preferred open source tools such as R and Python. When we look at preferences among professionals with one to five years experience over the four years since Python was added to our survey, it's clear that Python's gaining considerably, replacing R as the tool of choice for these early career professionals. Python support among professionals with five or fewer years experience has more than doubled from 24% in 2016 to 55% in 2019. Next, let's take a look at how preferences vary on, depending on a professional's industry of employment. As in past years, Python votes were the highest at tech and telecom firms. However, this year, for the first time, Python managed to pull ahead of SAS in both the financial services and healthcare and pharmaceutical sectors. Now let's take a closer look at preferences among professionals employed at tech and telecom firms, as well as those in financial services. Tech has always highly favored open source tools, and Python overtook R as the tool of choice starting in 2017, climbing even higher from last year to 2019. In financial services, you can see that SAS had always taken the top spot until this year. Python has been gaining substantially since 2016, catapulting from 15% of the vote in 2016 to 41% in 2019. The shift in tool preferences comes as more financial services firms are supporting open source tools like R and Python, or at least allowing them. We've also seen several major financial services employers 
which began to transition away from SAS a few years ago, complete their transition to open source tools over the past year. If you want to learn more about analytics and data science trends in financial services, you can check out our 2019 trends video on the Birchworks YouTube channel. We also examined how preferences shifted in geographic regions. This year, Python led in every region that we examined and was highest in the Northeast. Python also edged ahead in the Midwest and Southeast, where SAS had held the lead in 2018. Looking at some four-year trends, we can see how support for, support for Python has risen in both the Midwest and the Southeast to overtake SAS. Here you can see how Python holds the most commanding lead in the Northeast with 50% of the vote. We also looked at how preferences vary depending on academic degree and area of study. So let's take a look. While PhD holders have consistently favored open source tools like R and Python due to their use in academic research settings, this year Python took the lead among bachelor's and master's degree holders as well, where SAS had held a slight lead in last year's study. When comparing the four-year trend for both PhD and master's degree holders, we see that although Python support has been climbing among both groups in the last year, it rose more dramatically among master's degree holders. A new factor that we examined this year was the area of study for the respondent's highest degree earned, which we showcased in our salary report. And this showed some interesting tool preference trends. The votes were relatively close for four out of the seven areas of study that we examined, with professionals studying economics showing the strongest support for SAS, and those in the social sciences showing the strongest preference for R. Professionals whose area of study was engineering, computer science, and natural sciences all overwhelmingly preferred Python. In our recent salary report, available for download at birchworks.com study, we noted that data scientists who mainly analyze unstructured data are far more likely than other predictive analytics pro professionals to come from a computer science, engineering, or natural science educational background. Now let's take a look at one of the more stark preference comparisons we've examined, data scientists versus other predictive analytics professionals. While Birchworks has always regarded data scientists as a specialized subset of predictive analytics professionals, we've often segmented data scientists and predictive analytics professionals in our salary reports and other analyses to compare the two groups. This is primarily because of differences in skill sets that results in differing salary bands. But as we pointed out in our recent salary report, there are a number of demographic distinctions between the two groups as well, such as common areas of study or industries of employment. As we've defined them, data scientists work primarily with unstructured or streaming data, whereas other predictive analytics professionals mostly focus on structured data. Although the two areas are becoming more blended as of late, and the rest of this post combines the two groups, we thought it might be interesting to show how their tool preferences differ. Here you can see the four-year trend for both predictive analytics professionals on the left and data scientists on the right. Data scientists have always favored open source tools, especially Python, with SAS receiving no votes among this group in 2019. Data scientists are the segment with the most stark contrast between tools, and over 70% of them favor Python. Among predictive analytics professionals that primarily focus on structured data, tool preferences were more mixed but Python managed to get ahead of SAS in 2019. So which tool should you learn? This is a very common question, especially since there are so many options available now. As you can probably guess, there is no one-size-fits-all answer. While SAS is still used by some more traditional teams, such as in financial services and pharmaceuticals, many are now allowing support for and even transitioning to open source options like R and Python and this shift will likely continue. The best thing you can do is take a look at the job descriptions for the industries or companies where you think you might want to work and see what they're looking for. Regardless of which tool you learn, if you only know one tool, your options may be limited. The more tools you're familiar with, the more adaptable you can be. 
And since this industry is constantly evolving, it's important to keep learning new tools in order to keep your skills up to date with the market. There are a lot of online resources, such as Coursera, Udacity, Kaggle, and much more where you can learn new tools and practice applying your skills. The more you can demonstrate your abilities with different tools, the more marketable you'll be when you're looking for a job. If you're looking for more information on the data science and analytics market, we have a few additional resources for you. You can find salary and demographic data for data scientists and analytics professionals in our recent salary report, which you can download for free at birchworks.com study. In it, we provide hiring market insights, salaries examined with medians, quartiles, and means, demographic analysis, and salaries broken down by region, industry, education, gender, and more. If you're interested in new opportunities, you can check out our quantitative job board, which is trafficked by thousands of professionals in a variety of fields. You can also check out birchworks.com slash blog, where we post periodic updates with hiring market insights and analysis, including flash surveys on hiring demand, what motivates analytics and data science professionals to change jobs, and machine learning usage, as well as career advice and job search tips. Follow Birchworks across our social media channels to stay updated on our latest research. Our YouTube channel has videos on salary research, career development, and much more, all tailored specifically for analytics professionals and data scientists. If you'd like to see if we have roles that are fit for your experience or to discuss hiring needs, send us an email at info at birchworks.com to start the process. Thank you all for joining us, and have a great day.